So the 2022 Belgium Grand Prix has just finished. First of all, I'm I'm delighted that it's gonna remain on the calendar at least for 2023, as confirmed by Ben Salim and um, Dominicali just before the race. But what what a race it was, wasn't it? I mean, we had carnage at the start of the race, didn't we? Between Alonso and Hamilton. Alonso touched Hamilton and then he, he a lot Hamilton got um, his his um, car went up back of it went up um, and apparently he got um, a, a warning for not attending the medical center um you know because he he didn't he just walked away from the car um I mean and then we had um Latifi um, losing it and taking out uh, Bottas, unfortunately. I mean, but what a cracking race it was, wasn't it? I mean, we had, um, I was delighted for uh, As- the Aston Martin team finishing, better finishing eighth, um, coming home in eighth position for him. I mean, at one stage, I thought he was going to get fifth, but... Uh, that unfortunately wasn't gonna happen, but um, um, I mean Alonso, what a what a brilliant racer he still is at the at the age of 41. 41, I mean he had massive battles, and uh, I'm massively looking forward to next year to see what he can do with uh, with us Martin. And if I was uh, Alpine. I would regret uh, letting him go, you know what I mean? Because uh, he still got it. He's, he finished in sixth, sixth position. Absolutely epic, um, you know. Um, but what a, what a great race from uh, Max Verstappen. Uh, from um, 14th on the grid, I think it was. Um, I mean, winning the race. I mean, this, this guy is on another level, isn't he? Um, and I reckon, I reckon he's gonna cruise to the world title this year, unless anything untoward happens. I mean, I hope not, but you know, this guy is absolutely brilliant. Um, and um, George Russell did, did brilliantly as well, um, finishing in the top uh, five again. Absolutely epic. Um, and uh, yeah. I mean, I really did enjoy the race. I found it absolutely epic. Um, you know, there was some incredible battles on on, on the track. Um, you know, and and uh, nearly all of them went relatively cleanly. I mean, that is what we need. This is why um, Spa Circuit has to stay on the calendar for the long term because this is racing. This is what I found. This is why I, this is why I started watching Formula One. Well, actually, the truth of the matter, matter is that uh, I started watching Formula One because of um, Michael Schumacher. Um, but uh, it is it is uh, as far as known as um, Michael Schumacher's living room, um, at least in Germany, it is. But uh, it has to stay. It really has to stay and uh, for the long term. Massive congratulations to um, Max Verstappen. I mean, that was absolute dominance. Um, you know, and I agree with my Brundle. I mean, um, it's a bit odd that uh, Ferrari are asking their drivers about um, strategy calls and tire choices. I mean, they they should be able to do that themselves, shouldn't they? Um, you know. Don't forget, if they do it over the radio, then uh, the their comp- uh, competitors will know the information as well. Cause they listen to everybody's, um, they listen to the broadcast as well. You know what I mean? So um, I reckon uh, that they need to iron that out. But uh, I mean, you know, um, double podium for one, two, for Max and Sergio. Uh, it's absolutely epic. Um, and as I said, huge congratulations go to Red Bull and, um, you know, Max Verstappen. And I don't think nobody can challenge him. You know, I mean, um, um, I'm, a, I'm a bit concerned about Lewis Hamilton uh, already 
kind of um, um, saying that he can't can't wait to see the back of the, the this year's uh, Mercedes car, uh, the W13. But uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm hoping that he still can win a race uh, this season. Um, you know, because otherwise, um, that this this year could be would be the first um season where he doesn't win a race. Um, you know, and as far as Mac- McLaren is concerned, I mean, it it didn't go too well for um Ricardo again, and uh, I think Ricardo is is a big man, and um. You know, I've I've done a number of video re- videos about his future. Um, if you do want to check them out, then uh, feel free to do so. Um, you know, and I and I think um I can't wait till next uh, weekend to or when we go to Zandvoort um in in the in the Netherlands where it's uh, Max's home Grand Prix. Um, anyway. These are just my quick thoughts. Um, what do you guys think about this Grand Prix? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget uh, to to do what uh, I always ask you to do, and what is normal for people to do when they do when when they do, uh, watch YouTube videos, um, which is to click the like button, uh, comment below with any thoughts you may have. Always keep it clean though, and. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, don't forget to like. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Um, and one of my subscribers has asked me um, whether my cerebral palsy has improved is improving uh, because of my uh, speech is apparently getting it, getting it a lot more um, freer. Uh, I'm not sure whether the um, cerebral palsy is improving. Uh, however, I have got no. Um, well, I've got my ear um, problems under control now, which um, which is it, which is the reason why um, I've become more more fluent in uh, speaking in um, recording these videos. Um, you know, apart from obviously um, getting more confident. And uh, yeah, uh, before I go, I would love. I would like to take this opportunity to give a massive shout out to um, the um, Aston Martin Formula One team and especially Matt Bishop, who has um, posted a uh, a um, photo with, with wearing my uh, t shirt um, and and give me a asking people to follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Massively appreciate it, mate. I love your support and I love. The support us Martin has been giving me. Um, you're awesome. Um, and everybody in the community, in the F1 community, is awesome. But uh, um, you know the the, the um, support from from uh, us Martin has been um beyond my wildest dreams. You know what I mean? But uh, you know um, good luck and um, good luck for uh, the next race. Um, and um, I see you guys soon. Bye for now, bye. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.